Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel Learn to Speak Malay Like a Local. My name is Lisa and today I would like to teach you all the names of the different human body parts in Malay. And if you recall, I have a lesson that I did earlier on the things you find on your face, you know, like eyes, nose and everything. So I can't remember which lesson that is, but I'll put it over there so you can find it. So today it is the rest of your body and I'm going to start with the hair and this is Hamizan he is going to be my model today because I forgot to bring my wooden figurine that I usually use for drawing so he'll have to do <laughs> is that Reddit? okay you're done playing your game okay. so we'll start with hair and hair in Malay is rambut okay rambut rambut and then the head is kepala kepala Kepala. And then the face is muka. Alright. Muka. Muka. And then you have the neck. Neck is lehe. 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 And the back of your neck is tengkuk. 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 Collarbone in Malay is tulang selangka. Selangka. So tulang selangka is collarbone. And the shoulder is bahu, bahu, bahu. Moving on, the back, um, which is your shoulder blade. Your shoulder blade is tulang belikat, tulang belikat, belikat, tulang belikat, shoulder blade. After that, you have the chest. Chest in Malay is dada, dada, dada. And going lower is the stomach, and the stomach is perut, perut, perut. And then, uh, what's on perut? Pusat. So your, uh, what do you call, what do you call pusat in English? Belly button. Yes, your belly button. Your belly button is pusat, pusat, pusat. Pus the other meaning for pusat in Malay is the center of something what's an example pusat kewangan financial center pusat kewangan pusat kewangan financial center so pusat belly button <laughs> and then this whole thing your arm is called lengan 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 and if you remember from some of my older videos we refer to sleeves as lengan panjang or lengan pendek, meaning long sleeves, short sleeves. So, lengan is actually referring to your arm. Okay? And pangkal lengan is the upper part of your arm. Pangkal lengan. Pangkal means something at the beginning, right? Yeah, so the beginning of your arm. Pangkal lengan. And then, you have elbow. Elbow is siku, 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 okay, elbow, siku. You also have your wrist. Wrist is pergelangan tangan, pergelangan tangan, pergelangan tangan. Tangan means hand, so pergelangan tangan is your wrist. And then, oh, and just so you know, gelang also means bracelet. Okay, so I don't know if those two are related, but yeah, gelang, bracelet, pergelangan tangan, wrist. Can I have your hand, please? Thank you. Um, so on your hand, you have the palm. Palm is tapak tangan, tapak, tapak tangan, and it's also the same for your feet. So the base of your foot or feet is called tapak kaki. Kaki is feet, tapak is base. Tapak kaki, tapak tangan. And then you have fingers. Fingers in Malay is jari. Jari. And then you have your thumb, which is ibu jari. Ibu jari. Ibu means mother. So the mother of all fingers. <laughs> and then you have your index finger, which is jari telunjuk. Telunjuk. Lunjo, telunjo. Um, I'm not too sure. I have to check. But telunjo might be related to tunjo because tunjo means to point. So probably the finger that you use to point at something. Hence, and then you have middle finger. Middle finger in Malay is jari tengah. 
So tengah literally means middle or center. The other name for middle finger in Malay is jari hantu. Okay, hantu and hantu means ghost. So I don't know why they call this the ghost finger. And then you have your ring finger which is called jari manis. And if you recall from my older lesson on flavors, jari oh, manis means sweet. So the ring finger is called sweet finger in Malay, jari manis. And then you have the little finger which is called jari kelingking. Kelingking. Jari kelingking. Okay, so ibu jari, jari telunjuk, jari tengah, or jari hantu, jari manis, jari kelingking, tapak tangan, pergelangan tangan. Okay, thank you. And then, just now we finished that lengan, right? Okay, so lower than that, you have the waist. Waist is pinggang. Pinggang. And then lower than that is your hips. So hips is pinggul. Pinggul. Pinggang, pinggul. Pinggang is waist. Pinggul is hips. And then lower than that, your buttocks. Your butt is punggong. Punggong. Pinggang, pinggul, punggong. See if you can remember that. <laughs> and then... Um, Around the area, you have your private parts. So, in Malay, we call it kemaluan. Kemaluan. Malu means shy. So, kemaluan. Parts where you're shy of, I suppose. Kemaluan lelaki, kemaluan perempuan. Male private parts, female private parts. Kemaluan. And then, you go lower, you have your thighs. So, thigh in Malay is peher. 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 And then lower, you have your your knees. Your knee is lutut. 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 And lower, you have your calves. So calves is betis. 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 And then you have bukulali. And I have no idea what bukulali is in English, but here's a picture of bukulali. And then you have pergelangan kaki, which is your ankle. Okay, so it's the same. You have your wrist, pergelangan tangan. So the flexible part uh, uh, where your, your feet is where your ankle is. So that's pergelangan kaki. And then you also have heel, which is tumit. Tumit. Tumit kaki. Okay? And then you have your toes. Your toes is jari kaki. Now, if you recall, jari means finger, right? Um, so we basically call it the finger for your foot. Jari kaki, fit finger. Uh, I think I forgot kuku. So your, t so your nails, right? Nail is kuku. And when we say kuku, we usually refer to your your nails. And if you want to refer to your toenails, we say kuku kaki. All right, the nails on your feet. Did I cover everything? I think I did. Alright, so that's it for today's video. I hope you find it useful. Thank you so much to Hamizan for being a very good model. I appreciate it. And if you like what I'm doing, please like, share and subscribe. And do share this video and my channel with anyone who wants to learn Malay because I would really like to hit 10,000 subscribers before 2020. And I would really appreciate it if you could share my videos. So yeah, thank you and I'll see you again next time. Bye!